So Shadow of the Run, Chapter 1, Wanderlust. There's nothing like this in Cleveland. It's the first full production of an immersive show in Cleveland and Northeast Ohio. And so the audience will be led by actors who are also playing characters who are talking to them. Traditional theater, you're sitting down in a dark place and uh, just watching the show happen. Here in immersive land, you kind of just get to be part of the action. Come on in, the tea party's about to begin. Right this way. Each place they go to, a scene will be performed for them, uh, during which they may be asked to help participate in that scene in some way. You're not sitting in a dark room watching something happen on the stage. You, you're, you're on the stage with everybody all the time. You are my opponent. They may be talked to by an actor. They may be asked to get up and dance. One must sacrifice a principle. They may be asked to eat or drink something. There are some big productions in New York and L.A., a few in Chicago, but really nothing like this here. I've done a murder mystery, but this is not that. If you're thinking that's what it is, put that thought out of your mind. Lily's mother was 27 years old. Our big show that we hope to produce someday is about Elliot Ness and the Cleveland Torso killings. This is a prequel to that show. This is the story of the first victim, uh, the Lady of the Lake. They never figured out who she was. She doesn't have a name. The torso murderer uh, had 12 known victims. Only two were ever identified. Uh, and it's one of Elliot Ness's greatest failures as a detective. So I have named her. She is the main character in this play. Her name is Lily. And we follow Lily as we learn about her life and her hopes and dreams. This is Kitty Cat. Kitty Cat loves to go outside and chase I want people to know it's a lot of fun and it's not scary. Ha, 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 ha.